everybody, Eduardo Talbert here with MonsterTutorials.com. As you saw from the footage, today we're making a bondelier or a chandelier uh, with bones. So maybe the same guy that made that mask. Some sort of serial killer that had too much time on his hands, grabbed the bones, tried to be frugal like we are, and used the materials and made the chandelier. So let's not beat around the bush. Let's get started with this tutorial. For this tutorial, we're going to need two bags of bones, like this one. These bags of bones come with two femurs, two tibias, two hands, one neck, two feet, and two of these, which I still haven't figured out what part it is. I measured this one against every bone on that skeleton and I could not figure out whether it was our arm bone or what. But anyway, this comes with two. If you want to follow this tutorial step by step and want this specific bag of bones, I will put a link below where you can get this exact one. So usually I come up with that design in my head and then I find the parts for it. In this case, that design was predicated by what's in the bag. I had to use what I had uh, in stock, which is the three bags of bones that my wife brought. I didn't want it to be too big of a project and use all three bags, so we're going to do a starter one. And this is what I had in mind. Pretend that's the skull. So that's the top of the chandelier. Then I'm going to use two necks. Okay, then the long area down here is going to be the femurs. These guys right here. Okay, and we're going to use three of those. So there's one going towards the back over here. Then we're going to connect them with the tibias. So one here, one right here, and one from here to the back, to this one. All right, so it's a triangle, you can think of it. One, two, three, and then it's connected down here with the TBS. Then I was thinking to put the hands over here. So that's like a thumb and hands beautiful drawing. Other hand and the third hand over here. And then on those hands goes the candles. And we're starting with a three-way chandelier. As we get better at this we'll make a bigger one like a five piece or a seven which will be huge. So let's start assembling this thing. The first step is to Drill a hole on the top of the skull and then on the bottom where the neck will go. Also, I'm going to remove this jawbone at least one side and let it hang because this guy just looks like it's laughing. It doesn't look too, uh, too scary right now, so that might look a little bit scarier. Now that we have the hole here and on the bottom, we're going to start threading some wire. Take it about three feet of wire, so I have extra. I'm just going to thread it in. There you go. And for now, we're just going to make a loop here. Now let's thread the first neck bone. You might have to drill some holes.
Now this is going to be really challenging getting that wire. It's easy to make it go in here, but it's really hard to make it come out that way. So there we go. Let's get another neck bone in there. This time I'm flipping it over just for more symmetry. Let's do this threaded so what I'm going to do right here is just put this brush and wrap that wire around it so that we don't lose it. Just let it sit there for a while. Now comes the hard part. We're gonna to have to drill a hole. Well there's a hole there and then one over here somewhere uh, and put the wire through that as well. We are going to be here for a long, long time. I got all these guys all threaded, as you can see. All three tibias and all three uh, femurs. So now, on these guys, these are not hollow. So what I'm going to do is just drill a hole there and maybe drill a hole there. And that's what we'll use to attach to the bondelier. Okay, I've got these three bones, which I still don't know what they are. They might be clavicles or collarbones, but these are drilled. So let's start assembling the chandelier. So I was thinking of going this part where the hand's going to go, and that goes to the neck right there. So I'm going to just wrap the wire around this wire right here. Just like that. So I'm going to attach the other three. I'm not making anything permanent so these wires are still kind of like hanging there so we can tighten and adjust it as we need. Okay, for this step I basically just hung all three bones from the neck. There's still wire sticking out everywhere because we haven't tightened it but it's going to go like that and then this one in the back goes straight back and this one let's see it goes like that now we're gonna connect these to our tibias so i'm going to go from here to here and connect them like that and now let's do the rest of the tripod which is these two and the other two much better this is a wider angle so these two are connected now we're going to take the next two connect this against this This is all connected now. The only thing I have here dangling is this neck bone, this uh, like spine or vertebrae. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these little guys and uh, thread them right here on the bottom where I have this brush. And I'm just going to thread all three of them and then connect them up here to this, the middle of this femur. Threaded, so I'm going to just uh, wrap this up so we don't lose the wire. Now we're just going to put these guys up against the femurs. So there and there and the third one, wherever it is, over here. Don't worry about the wire around here because we are going to use some hemp rope or some sort of natural jute. You can also corpse your bones and uh, hide the wire. Put 
put it loosely for now. Once we are done with the assembly, we will tighten everything up. Check it out. That's looking much better, huh? Now, see all these loose wires? If you like the shape of your chandelier, now you can start tidying them up. Uh, make sure you knot them real good so that you don't lose them. And then you can start trimming the ends off with a wire cutter or something like that. So I'm going to trim this up and this is the initial shape. We still have to add the hands. So this guy is totally assembled. All the wires have been tightened and got the general shape that we like. So now I'm going to start drilling the holes for the hands. So I'm going to take here and this, uh, this called this the femoral head. I'm going to drill a hole in the femoral head and then slide the hand in there and glue it in place with hot glue. Yeah, perfect fit. I'm gonna put some hot glue there just to make sure it doesn't fall off. I've glued all three of these. The other thing I found was these candles at the dollar store. They are flickering candles and they're fake, which is cool because you don't want to have a open flame near children or any trick or treaters or anything. So I'm going to mount these on the hand, but the only way to turn it off is on the bottom. So if I apply glue, it'll mess it up. So I took a regular tea light and just remove the actual candle and I'm going to use that to mount on the hand and then we can place that on top and it won't fall when it's hanging from the ceiling. I'm also going to spray paint this black. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this chain that I bought and spray paint it black. Now when I spray paint this and the candle bases I'm also going to sprinkle some uh, cinnamon on it to look like rust. Uh, I did a rust tutorial before and I've added the link to the rusty lamp. So check it out if you wanna see how I do this. I'm gonna go downstairs, spray paint this black, spray paint the little uh, candle bases black. I'll be right back. While the paint dries, I'm going to take some of this rope and start putting it around some of these areas where there's wire. I'm just gonna wrap it and use some hot glue to glue it in place. I'm going to do that around every part that has exposed wire and just tie some rope with the hot glue, even around the hands here. All right, here we go. I got the rope where the wire was. I decided to hang the jawbone from the bottom and keep the head just like that. So let me show you right here. Pretty cool. I'm gonna go check to see if that stuff has dried yet and we'll finish this thing. Okay, these guys are all dry, so I'm just going to glue them on the hand like this. That's glued as well as this one and the last one. So now let's do the chain on the top and let's hang this guy so I can show you how it turned out. All I'm doing is attaching the chain to the wire as close as I can to the skull and then running the wire around it just like this. Now I'm just going to put a little piece of rope here just to conceal the wire and to give it a little finished look as it attaches to the head.
see that? That's just to hide the little wire under there. I'm gonna get these candles in the little slots and we'll go and hang this and I'll show you how it turned out. Well, I think that turned out really cool. I was very impressed. It was really easy and uh, the results were great. So I'm going to show you again what it looks like here in a second. But first, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. If you think this is a cool video, give it a like. And most, most importantly, share it with a friend or share it on your Facebook. That will be awesome. But only if you like it. Until next time, I am Eduardo Talbert with Monster Tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe.